Hey, what's going on? It's been a little bit. Uh, funny seeing you guys here. Uh, we got a whole new setup here. Uh, this was my old rack, and this is my glorious new rack. I put everything in this one that never changes. Now, this is not just any redesign video. There's a lot of other cool factors here. More of a man cave video than a studio tour. Uh, this over here is my secondary rack. Everything changes over here. From this picture, it uh, you, you notice like the audio interface, the 10 gig switch, an Xbox thrown in there that I'm probably never gonna use, and then it's just a bunch of cables. And then underneath my desk, this is my pride and joy, uh, the new, uh, this is, this is just a, such a beautiful workstation, Xeon. Uh, I'll get on the desktop and show you the full specs of it because, oh my gosh, it's coming up in a bunch of videos. I got a perfect system video coming up once I completely revamp, but we'll talk about that here in a second. And then uh, all this is sitting on just some custom common board that I actually like a little bit of woodworking. Actually, the desk and everything here was also designed by me and kind of cut out. And I did some poly on the desk, uh, the CPU stand so to speak, I just kind of was like, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> and then I also want to get into the stream decks. This is kind of what they look like on the desk and automation, uh, basic automation. We're not going into like a full on like open assistant or uh, open hab or whatever you're going to use or smart things. We're going to just use some janky Alexa stuff with some basic routines to control all the stuff here just the lights though and we don't actually want to use an actual hardware alexa because one it just kind of spies on you and two every time i say alexa it would just be beeping somewhere in the studio and i can't have that <laughs> so uh yeah that's that's basically everything going on i want to just kind of show everybody what's going on let's get on the desktop go over the workstation go over some of the new improvements i have a lot of really cool stuff happening in this whole space the whole purpose of doing all this is just so I can create new stuff, work on program stuff, and just love being here. Uh, less of a studio, more of a, hey, great workspace. And that's what I was going for with everything. Probably won't touch everything in this video, but most stuff. Look on the timestamps for that. And having said that, let's get on the desktop. I feel like an idiot holding this uh, SM7B, but it's just what YouTubers do. Uh, it's better than those guys that hold a lav mic in their fingers. Those, those YouTubers I just despise. Anyways, uh been a while let's get into it so as far as the actual pc the new pc i'm rocking this thing right here is amazing it's a z8 g5 uh supplied to me by superworkstations.com uh they uh contacted me and they wanted to send me something different i was like hey how about uh i just build the what i want and uh i'll feature you guys on on a youtube video right uh <laughs> <laughs> so they agreed and this is what we got with so i'm gonna i'm gonna give them a shout out on a couple videos coming up but i built basically a xeon machine because i want to make the ultimate pc I, i've done a couple videos on that it may be another month before i make this video but it will be uh probably an arch based system uh definitely linux is the main uh, I picked Xeon mainly because I wanted full cores, not like efficiency cores, and to do a lot of virtualization. This one also is capable of doing multiple GPUs. Now, uh, the GPU they sent me, uh, I have to apologize to them real fast. I actually ripped it out, and I, I ended up using different GPU configuration, mainly just because I wanted to do multiple GPUs and also... Uh, stream or basically do a PCI pass-through for a lot of it. However, this specific motherboard, which I actually had them vet beforehand, has, uh, I think, nine PCIe slots, and I think three or four of them are X16, so a very, very beefy board where, like, your residential stuff you'll pick up. A lot of it only has one X16 slot, and this one's just capable of doing so much more, especially in the PCI pass-through space. So this is basically my current configuration of it uh, with some uh, caveats. I think... I I ripped out all the drives and I'm doing my own NVMe drives. I also uh, switched out the very front of the panel and ripped out all of that to do hot swap bays for regular SSDs. I have a whole bunch of those Samsung Evo drives and stuff like that, that, you know, anywhere between 120 and 512, 
just to do uh, full bare metal tests for things and, and just be able to put more drives in. I also threw in a couple like NAS drives for solid state storage in like a RAID, uh, just a mirror to RAID. So uh, it has upwards of, I don't even know. Let's look at disk management. Uh, this one right here is, I think, the Vintoy disk, and I think I was doing some kind of virtualization thing, a, a Proxmox type deal. I'll probably wipe that out, do something a little different. Uh, we also have uh, unallocated, just a 120 disk sitting in there. I would probably initialize this disk. That's the RAID, uh, the, the mirror to RAID, so we'll put that in. And then we have Windows sitting on a 2 terabyte NVMe drive. And then we also have another version of Linux. I think this is my main one. This might still be Nix OS, which I'm about to wipe out and do a whole different thing that I just explained. Uh, we'll see how this all turns out. It's really cool. I love this system mainly for the expandability because I wanted to, if I want to put in a whole bunch more NVMe drives, I can do that. I have a, a just unlimited amounts of stuff that I can I can put this in. And honestly, I could combine all my systems into this one. Uh, however, I think I still will make a dedicated system just for my production because I really like rebooting and kind of messing around stuff. When I was doing live streams, I was constantly doing that live. So uh, yeah, just an amazing setup here. Obviously, this wasn't even, uh, the final price was about 8,000, but uh, I went ahead and didn't have like hard drives and uh, I think one more GPU I tossed in there. So probably around 10K for this big old system at the end of the day. Although again, I was reusing a lot of parts I had here in the studio. So I'll do a whole video on this and this whole setup once I get this completely configured. I wanna give a quick shout out to them. We're currently on this system though, just so you can see it from a Windows standpoint. Uh, this is not where it'll sit forever. Uh, all these Xeon cores, full cores, and we got a lot of them that we can uh, utilize and do all kinds of shenanigans coming in the future. I just wanted to show this uh, because I've been extremely impressed with this system and I absolutely love it. Now, another thing I wanted to kind of bring up is uh, Alexa and Voice Monkey slash uh, <laughs> some automation type deal. Now I, I need to still set up like my smart things and get uh hosted, like maybe even open hab. Uh, I'm still probably in the future going to make a video about that. But for now, I just wanted to do like a quick and dirty quick, uh, Hey, let's just get everything set up because this main light above me, I wanted to set up to where I press one button. It starts this flow and then it takes off my main light all the backlighting for everything. None of these lights actually had anything good. The Amaran lights have like the Sidious Link app. For it being a thousand dollar light, I gotta tell you, their, their app sucks. Like, oh my gosh, I love the light, but they need to like open it up because right now I just put it into, um, anyways, let me, let, me, let me just turn this flow back on and fix this, but oh. I can't say enough bad things about Amaran and their crappy Sidious Link app. Uh, but anyways, this flow right here goes through and I had set like a toggle variable because Amazon Alexa is what I'm piping this through right now using some smart things hubs, just cheap Amazon smart plugs. They're about $20. I think I actually got to set a two for $20, so maybe $10 each. And then I just plug those into an Alexa account, which I don't have anything on and I don't even have an Alexa. So I just installed it on my phone for a brief bit, configured everything, shut it down and, and disabled notifications. So I don't have to worry about Alexa firing off and having it listening on everything I'm saying. Uh, so I just put these lights on it and then used voice monkey AI. Now, one of the downsides, to the free plan of voice monkey is you can only have one web hook which what I did was I created routines in Alexa for turning studio lights on. And since Amazon and Alexa just kind of sucks at programming, I, they only have on and off. They don't have a toggle. So I created a custom flow and then just have that specific one. So if I'm sitting here and I want to trigger this flow, uh, you can actually do it through a webhook. And the webhook is just a, a simple Git response. So I plug that up to my little Steam Deck. I just push the button. It runs this flow, or I can trigger it right now, and then it'll go take all these off, and 
that's three lights that I would normally have to manually turn off. And I really wanted more automation here. Obviously, this is just temporary uh, setting this up on like a smart things hub or something uh, more open would be ideal. Uh, probably like open assistant. And, and there's many other solutions that uh, I will get going. I just kind of wanted to show this as, uh, you know, if you have something really simple and you just want to, hey, I don't want to mess with setting up a Docker container and hosting all of it. You can do it through like Alexa and Voice Monkey without buying any hardware, without having to do anything, just use your phone, set up these routines in Alexa app, and then just connect it all. It works pretty well and it's free. You know, I don't pay any money for any of this. And if obviously if you have multiple web hooks and you want to do multiple flows, they're going to charge you, I think, like two bucks a month or something. But I just use their free plan and only have one. So this is just kind of an update video for it. It's not like a full tour. I don't even know if I can do a full tour because I just did so much this past month and there was just so much tearing out. I was mudding. I was doing all this stuff just to make this a really enjoyable, warm place to be and, and somewhere I like to be because it got to a point where my biggest failures, which here, I'll just show you real fast. This trash bin, if we look, you know, I got like an old, you know, LED strips that, you know, I couldn't connect up anymore. Or they just don't work quite as well. Here's this old NVIDIA. Uh, you remember NVIDIA? They got into like the Raspberry Pi game for a little bit. Basically get rid of the fire sticks and all that and make my own basically home theater system out of these because these had good video compared to the Raspberry Pi, which has just terrible video. Now the Raspberry Pi 5's out, I can just use it. And this has been discontinued, so in the trash bin it goes. It's a failed project in the past. Oh man, I got, uh, you remember the Volo phone? I talked about that for a little bit. I got a whole bunch of Linux phones I used to talk about, which uh, update on that is they very basically haven't gone anywhere and everyone still uses Apple and Android. Sad to say, I really wish that was different. It, it's progressed some, but there's still such a long way to go. We also have a uh, battery charger for like some old stuff. Oh man. And this is just the top of it. Oh, I was doing some pinouts uh, for, oh geez, what was this? Oh, I was using this to flash firmware and try and create like my own BIOS. That was like a very ambitious project that I was like, hey, I got this old ThinkPad, I'm gonna flash the firmware and do like Libre Boot and some other cool stuff. And then I was like, wait, this hardware is really old and I'm wasting a ton of time. And again, failed project. So I, I think over the past year or so, I really have just had a huge buildup of failed projects. And when I came in here, I was just surrounded by failure. <laughs> Uh, I would live stream, I would do stuff, and I think it was just kind of, uh, hey, uh, I'll, I'll get to that, I'll get to that, I'll get to that. And then as I went through a lot of these things in the revamp, I realized, hey, yeah, uh, these are all failures. They're not going anywhere. I'm not going to make a video, and they're, they're not going to do anything. So I just need to go through and just remove and delete and basically just keep the stuff I'm going to use and, and really make this a great space to be in. And that's, that's what I did. I wanted to make this not just for recording because the recording honestly is probably a little bit worse than my old setup, uh, but really more for work to program, to, to make things. I, I really wanted expandability that, that second rack, I have all these things coming off of it so I can easily plug up whatever I need. And uh, that's what this whole space is now. It's just more of a creation space and uh, a more of a man cave than anything else. And I wanted to update everybody. I know I've been gone for 30 days. YouTube sent me an email and like, hey, everybody misses you. Thanks, Automated System, for reminding me I haven't made produced a video in 30 days. Uh, and I wanted to get this out and just let everyone you know, hey, if this is still a work in progress. Let me know what you guys think. I know I'm not doing much cable management and other things. And you might be thinking, what's up with, I think over here, I have like a whole bunch of things sitting on the ceiling, but I wanted to make everything to where I can easily add and remove cables because I'm constantly changing everything you see here. It's just all in flux all the time. And the whole purpose of this setup is to say, hey, Everything in this rack never changes. Everything in this rack always changes. And then every cable can easily be removed with a couple Velcro straps 
and replaced or added more cables, everything's there. So that's the whole purpose of doing this is just to make this space one, look a lot better, but two, really just for sanity's sake, getting rid of and deleting the old projects and having all the new come in and I'm getting there. <laughs> so hopefully the next video is next week in if everything works well. And if not, I'll see you in another month. <laughs> But no, it won't be that long. It won't be that long. I got a bunch of other uh, projects and other things and videos I'm making. I just wanted to make this one update everybody. I'm really loving everything. And, uh, you know, I, I still am going to be making a bunch of videos over here. I just had to take some time to redo everything. And it has been such a fun adventure. And I look forward to the new videos on this channel because they will be awesome. So with that, let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.